Hi, I'm Eric Runquist. I am the coordinator of the Minnesota Zoo's Prairie Butterfly Conservation Program. We're going to go chase some butterflies today, do some surveys for some rare and imperiled prairie butterflies native to Minnesota. And while we're at it, we're also going to tag some monarchs. And as they begin their migration south, we can learn about their population sizes. Welcome to Glacial Lake State Park here in central Minnesota. This park behind me is one of the last great large remnants of, of prairie in, in Minnesota left. There's only 1% of the Minnesota prairie remaining. This tall grass prairie that's extremely important for biodiversity. It has very deep roots of the plants here, provide great erosion control. And this park is one of the last known homes for some of the most endangered butterflies in the world. The Powashik Skipperling, the Dakota Skipper. They haven't been seen here in a few years, but one of the jobs here we're here to do today is to survey four other prairie butterflies, like the Pawnee Skipper, the Regal Fritillary, and many other sort of rare butterflies that are declining because of habitat loss. So what we have here is a monarch butterfly. It's a male. He is beginning his migration from the upper Midwest in Minnesota here at Glacial Lake State Park all the way down to Mexico. And what we're going to do is put a little tag on him that identifies him as he's going to have a unique number and folks are going to look for him in Mexico so that they know he came from up here. And that helps assess, it helps assess population sizes and movement patterns of migrating monarchs. Let's see, gotta get this tag off. So each monarch is gonna have its own unique number. There. On the, on the hind wing. It's super sticky. Very lightweight. Just press it in there. It does not affect his ability to fly. And he can migrate just fine with that. So this is TGW903. So if you ever find this guy in the wild, report it back to Monarch Watch and we and uh, record the location and we can know how far he's moved. And then we will record his information down on the data sheet, report that back and he will fly off on his way. So shall we let him go? All right, set, happy journey. He's off. This is TGW904, great condition. Right here next to me is a little blue stem, which is one of the great, great native prairie grasses. Many prairie grasses may be only a feet tall or a foot or two tall. Some can actually get six feet tall, but the important thing is that those roots go down 10 to 15 feet into the ground. And so they really anchor the soil and they're great for erosion. This plant in particular, a little blue stem, is a very important plant for us at the Minnesota Zoo. It is one of the primary hosts 
as for the caterpillars of Dakota skippers and probably Pawashik skipperlings and many of the in other endangered native butterflies that we work on trying to breed as for establishing conservation breeding programs and populations for these endangered species. So what I have here is an orange sulfur butterfly, a truly magnificent native butterfly coming across most of actually the north of uh, the U.S. Um, they feed on a variety of host plants, including um, legumes as caterpillars, even alfalfa. Um, the males are spectacular, bright orange inside. One of the other things we're doing besides surveying for the rare butterflies is also looking at the common ones, like the orange sulfur here. So anytime we're out surveying for the rare ones, we're, we're recording everything we see. And there's, there is an app for that, actually. Um, and what we're doing is then that provides us information on the status of all butterflies and moths in the wild here especially the butterflies that we're looking for. And the reason why is because some of the butterflies that were, are now endangered were common just 10 or 15 years ago. We don't know what the next one is to fall. And we need to know on the ground what's happening every single year to get an assessment of their population sizes. Orange sulfurs are common right now. Who knows what they're gonna be in 20 years. So what I've got in that A here is a very interesting butterfly, one of the more endangered or interesting rare butterflies in the state of Minnesota. This is the Pawnee Skipper. This is a male. Pawnee Skippers are listed as special concern in the state of Minnesota, which is one level below um, threatened status. And they're uh, very closely related to the Dakota Skipper and some of the other endangered skippers that were interested in the state of Minnesota in our Puttaroi conservation program. I'm going to try to get it out here so you can take a look at it. Yeah, so this is the Pawnee skipper. Many skippers have this large, chunky, fuzzy body, big, big eyes, and bright orange wings. So again, this is the Pawnee skipper. It's one of the more restricted and, and butterflies that requires native prairie. And this is one of the few places in the state of Minnesota you can find them. This is the first individual I've seen in actually two years. It's quite exciting. All right, finally ran down the hill and got another awesome butterfly. This is the Regal Fritillary. One of the most majestic butterflies of the upper Midwest. These are native prairie remnants, or prairie obligate butterflies. Um, this is the female. They are bright orange on the forewing and dark black on the hind with, with big spots. These have a really fascinating life history. Well, for one, this is a special concern species, so the same legal status as the Leonard skipper we saw earlier. Now very rare, essentially extinct east of the Mississippi River, only really found now in, in isolated prairie remnant pieces like this here at Glacier Lake State Park. So here is TGW905, uniquely tagged monarch, Glacial Lakes, September 5th, 2014. This is a male. This is a citizen science project that anybody in the world can participate in, really anybody in, within the range of monarchs. And what we do is we help uh, find this guy in Mexico and uh, learn about the, the way monarchs move through their environment and move through the world and helps us assess population sizes and encourages conservation here in Minnesota and also down in Mexico. This is a truly international butterfly. Well, we had a really great day here at Glacial Lake State Park. We saw 25 monarchs, we tagged five of them, 
They're all on their way to Mexico right now. We saw two really rare butterflies today, the, the Pawnee Skipper and the Regal Fritillary, two amazing prairie butterflies. So we just want to thank, the Minnesota Zoo wants to thank Maury's for this amazing car that we've been able to, to really do a lot of great field research with. We wouldn't be able to do it really without it, so it's, it's been spectacular.